Hey guys, I have this card to show you how to make with the amazing Gilded Leafing. It's in the mini catalog. Let me find it for you. Here it is. It's on page 33, right here, Gilded Leafing Embellishment, nine bucks. Stuff is amazing. So for this card, what I did was, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I did it. Um, the paper that the leaves are, or the seashells and stuff are on is the pearlescent paper, which is also in the mini catalog. Let's see, right here, page 41, number five, pearlescent specialty paper. It is so pretty. It's called White with Pearlescent Sheen. Here's one that has just been cut, but not embossed or anything like that. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty, you could, you could die cut this on that and leave it like that and it would look beautiful. So that's what I used it on the card, but to show you step-by-step, step, I'm gonna just use a piece of the very vanilla, just because I wanna save this for other things. <laughs> so we're gonna start with this one and I'm gonna show you the first thing to do. Okay, the first thing that you do is you are going to die cut it. This framelit right here, it runs, it goes a little over. This is four by um, five and a quarter, but that's okay because it still looks really pretty. So put that on there how you want it. Let me find my other, there we go. Here's my top. I'm gonna run it through there. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Get a lot of little pieces that come out. That's what it's, this is great for. You can kind of punch them out easy. Okay. So again, this is how you start. Let me clean this up and I'll show you what we do next. Okay, what the, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to stamp the stamps that go on to these four things. Um, we're doing it in Versamark because we're going to use the heat and stick to use the gilded leafing on there. What I say before you do anything with Versamark to emboss, um, I like to rub a dryer sheet on there just because in, Bossing powder can get, um, it's so light and airy and everything, it can get everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So I just do that real quick, easy. Okay, so here we go. Here's the stamp set right here. And I'm just gonna take out the shells that are in the stamp set. And what I do is I just, line them up on each little piece. They don't have to be perfect. You can you can look at my card. It's not perfect. It's not supposed to be. It's just supposed to be pretty. Okay, here's this one. Okay, line that one up. And then we've got this one right here line that up then we have this one and then we have a small one here 
Yeah, see, I'm moving them. I can move it back. Got this one upside down. That's not going to work. Here we go. Okay, then let me just line this one back up. And this one. Like I said, it does not have to be perfect. So I'm not too, too concerned with that. All right, so there you see, I got the stamps on top of there. This is the, the biggest acrylic block, and this is how we're going to pick them up and then ink them up with Versamark and stick them back on there all in one step. And of course, this always sticks to the paper. Okay, there we go. All right, let me get my verse mark and I'll show you the next couple steps. Okay, since I put the stamps on top, you might wanna do this after you do the stamps. Okay, here's my verse mark with lovely stains on it, still works. Anything big like this, this is how I ink up. If it's a small stamp, I go like this, but since this is so large, I like to put it on there from the top. Okay. And then, of course, this is just lining them up. Push down on it pretty good. Get that ink on there. Okay, you can kind of see it in there. I can kind of see it. I don't know if it's going to show up on there or not, but all right. So what we're using to do the gilded leafing is the heat and stick. It's like embossing powder. You put it on there, you heat it up till it's just shiny sort of, and it's like glue. Okay, so you can kind of see them on there a little bit. Okay, set this aside. Now, you don't want to overheat the heat and stick. You want it to get where it just looks shiny. That means it's sticky. Always take this and just kind of wait for it to heat up a little bit. And you can kind of start seeing it change hopefully on the thing, but it makes it sort of shiny. Okay. And then here's the gilded leaf. This is a box I've had forever. It's tall because this stuff, you can see, it is very light. So it likes to flail around. What I do whenever I use this stuff is I just take what I just heat embossed with um, heat and stick and I push it down in there. And when you first look at it, you're like, um, that doesn't look that great. But as you start rubbing it off, you can see where it all is. You're getting rid of the loose stuff that's not actually stuck on there through the heat and stick. Okay. So I did, I missed some of it there, but I'm doing this fast. When I did the one that's on the card, I did it in one, it, you know, I never had to redo it. So, and this again is on very vanilla paper, not the pearlescent. Try to get those off your hands. I've got this 
gilded leafing pretty much everywhere in my stamp room. Looks pretty. Little piece here, some pieces here, pieces in the lid, okay? So that's how you get it to look like that. Now, um, for the happy birthday to my beautiful friend, I did that. It's a, another stamp also from the Friends Are Like Seashells. And I did that with gold embossing powder. So that's the one where you stamp it again with Versamark. That you don't use the heat and stick, you use gold embossing powder, put it on there and heat it up. Um, it's, you know, the To My Beautiful Friend is, is very small and intricate, so the gilded leafing may not turn out that great on something like that. And then I use these little dots on there, and then this is the paper that comes with the seashells that makes it look like, you know, it's kind of underwater or whatever. So not not a hard card to make. It's a couple steps, but it's easy, and every time you make it, it's going to look a little different, but it is really, really shiny and really pretty. So um, actually, I'm sorry, and I have not done the last step. <laughs> That's why I'm saying it doesn't look the same. Hang on. Okay, the last thing you do is you use the embossing folder that comes with, um, that's also for the seashells. It's a 3D embossing folder. And yes, you can do the leafing and then you can also, you can kind of see before that I did it like that. Where it says Stampin' Up, that's the one you want it, the, the side of the paper that you want stuck up. So, and you just line it up it's pretty easy. See through. Okay. You can see my pretty gold hands here from using that stuff, but it comes off easy. Okay. There we go. You see now it's embossed dry embossed and really shows off those seashells. Hopefully you can see the sparkle. It's kind of hard to see sometimes on video, but there you go. That's a really easy, beautiful card, just a few steps. And you know, and you, you can see also that if you're not using like the gilded leafing or any of the embossing powder things, you could also line up those stamps like I did here and you could ink them with regular ink. You know, you could do pink and blue and whatever color you wanted. You could do one on each one and then stamp it on there and it's just a, a stamp set. You can see some of those like in the catalog. They show it um, like this one. That's what they did. And then you emboss it. I mean, it is really, really such a pretty card that uh, lots of people would love to have. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you're enjoying your weekend and y'all have a great Saturday night. Bye.